Hey Summers, Wendy42 here. I know I've already done a how to add mods video, but this particular software is just so awesome that I just had to do like a kind of tutorial for this one because um, it's pretty, it's like that awesome, seriously. Um, it's called the Sims 4 Mod Manager. It's at um, Mod the Sims, you have to do is go to files and, you know, download it. And it's actual software, so you have to, you know, click setup and let it install and all that. And when you do, open it up and it looks just like this. It's simple, it's sweet, it's cute, and this is how you add your mods. You press the plus button, you go to your downloads folder or wherever it is you have your mods, and you just click on them. That's it. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these mods. Um, you don't actually have to go one by one, you can just use a shift click. Um, and then click open. I'm gonna put them in my main folder. Now you can have like multiple like subfolders if you have CC and stuff like that. But when it comes to mods, it's better to put them in your main folder just because some script mods need to be in that main folder with the um, resource config file. Um, and if it's not in there, it won't work. So I'm gonna put them in my main folder, and they're just gonna appear. And it's it's a beautiful, amazing, awesome thing. So when you click on the check, that's when they show up. I'll explain. Here we go. This is my mod folder. This is my, you know, documents, electronic arts, sims for mods folder. The thing about it, as you can see, it's only when I click on here that they show up on there. If I don't click it, it doesn't show up. So you can have 50, 100,000 mods in here, your mod manage, like the, the uh, mod manager. And let's say, for example, like this one, this one is show sick. Like if I don't want to play um, to work, I can just click that. It'll take it out of my mods folder. And I don't have any get to work mods because I'm not playing get to work. But when I am, I do want to play get to work, I come back here, I click it, it puts it right back in my mods folder. And as you can see, I've got packages and script mods. I don't have to unzip or rezip. As you can see, they're all, you can see, they're all the ones that are supposed to be zipped or zipped, the ones that aren't, aren't. And it all works. It just it does. It's a, it's a beautiful piece of software. And I just had to show you guys this because, um, makes everything so much easier. I mean, this video is so much shorter than the first one that I made on how to add mods, so you can imagine. And this works so well, like I said, for your CC, your mods, whatever you want to do. You can have subfolders in it if you want. Uh, just make sure, you know, you, your script mods are in your main folder because of that resource config file. And that's it. Literally, that is all. It's quite a beautiful piece of uh, software, and the person who made it is awesome. And yeah, so if you have any questions, post them in the descriptions, although I don't see how you could because it's just so simple and just so easy. You download it and then you open it up and this is what you have to do. That's it. Quite simple. Again, the link is in the descriptions and um, yeah, so that's it. This is the Sims 4 Mod Manager and this is how it works. It's very, very easy. <laughs> Okay, everyone, um, this is Lenny42 signing out. Happy simming, everyone!